Why are you here? And why are you watching this? I have no idea. But uh, I hope that you have come here to learn the basics of industrial robotics. And if you have, then welcome. Um, I hope I can aid you in that process. And uh, why would you even listen to me? I mean, I'm just a dude on YouTube. The most credible people on in the world. No, I have slim, yet uh, some experience with robots. But uh, I work in the factory and I see them every day. And they are part of my ordinary life. I think that's the part I can share. I mean, uh, the knowledge of robots you can get anywhere. Uh, I mean, there are good PDFs and uh, people who know this much better than me. But uh, not everyone has an opportunity to use one of these robots. I mean, they, they cost a fortune um, to get your hands on. When I now have the opportunity, I thought I might as well share in this series that you can watch. It might not be a surprise to you that robots are doing more and more of the manual labor we, we humans have done before in our society. And if I have to say it myself, you need to understand the robots to understand the world we live in. And I also listened to the uh, Jay, Joe, oh, Joe Rogan Experience podcast where he interviewed um, Andrew Yang, who uh, had this to say about robots taking our jobs. Well, what I say to people, Joe, is I say, hey, have you noticed stores closing on your main street? And then they say, yes. And then I ask them, why is that? And then they reflect for a minute, and then they say, Amazon. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, Amazon's getting $20 billion of commerce every mm -hmm. year. And it's now tipping your malls and Main Street stores into oblivion. Yeah. And like, is that going to get better or worse? Because so, so some people say it's like, how the robots, like the robots are yours away. And then you're like, no, it's not robots actually like walking around your neighborhood. I mean, of course, that's unlikely. But Amazon soaking up the business that used to go to your mall, if you go to their fulfillment center, it's robots as far as the eye can see. If you go to their... Uh, their warehouse, you know, it's also robots as far as, as far as the eye can see. And while robots taking jobs is a fact, it can be hard to wrap your mind around how we are going to approach this. And, and your, your reaction might be that you want to learn, learn how to use robots. I mean, they need to be operated, they need to be programmed. Someone needs to keep watch on them. But, um, I mean, it might not be the full solution. Um, Andrew Yang said this about the approach to learn robots. I looked into the data as to how good we were at retraining, let's say, displaced manufacturing workers in the Midwest when we started decimating their jobs. And we're terrible at it. Like according to independent studies, government funded retraining programs had a success rate of between zero and 15% in real life. Like this mm. is what actually happened to the workers of Michigan and Indiana and Ohio. And so if you say we're going to retrain these people, then you would also have to come up with a, a, a way for us to become amazing at something that right now we're really, really bad at. Well, learning robots uh, will not solve the problem with automation. It will give you an edge when it comes down to the wire. And I will try to give you some knowledge that you could use in the future. I will post the episodes here on YouTube, but I will also try to post them on uh, the Reddit Industrial Robotics. But you can also PM my Reddit account to learn, well, ask questions, I don't know. Uh, I can't think of everything and uh, uh, it's good to have the internet where everyone can write and connect and uh, so if you have some insights and something I don't know something 
you want to know, I will try to answer this. Um, so you can check it down in the description. Yes. Oh well, go ahead and watch.